there's a there's a bug with inside the Intel Active Management uh, technology which allows uh, an intruder to be able to access a machine even if it's powered off. And what happens is that uh, the service itself runs on 16.992 and then can be connected uh, through a web browser. Obviously we put in the URL and then colon and then this port number here. So you can see that Shodan is actually showing there's quite a few machines that are, are vulnerable across the internet. Okay, and the, the core of the problem is that uh, when the researchers reversed engineered the firm firmware, they found this type of statement here. Uh, this is C++. And so this is doing a string compare between one string and another, and then it will do it for a certain number of characters. So in this case, we'll compare the, the two strings together and then we'll compare for the length of the user input. So let's give it a try. So let's say the correct answer is goodbye and uh, the user enters hello. So it's going to do a string compare here. This is a string not compare. Okay, so if it returns a zero, then it means that uh, the strings are the same. So we'll just run that. Okay, so we can see the, the strings are not the same. That's what we'd expect. So now we'll try it where the strings are the same. Okay, so that, that works. And so this is where the bug happened. If we actually put the user input of, an, of a zero length string, then the comparison, because we're using string length here, it will only it will compare zero characters, which will mean it doesn't really matter what we put in and what the, the connect input is. It will always return back that these are the same. Okay. So there you go. That's that's the reason that we see this bug. Really, a s extremely sloppy uh, implementation of, of code. Uh, what should have happened was that there should have been some sort of digest, some sort of hashing of the two values, which will give a fixed length string, and then we'll be able to compare from there. Okay.